Hi all, I am Dr. Shweta Gulabi, Consultant Obstetrician and Gynecologist and Siddhartha Nursing Home Global Fertility Innovations, Brindavana Mello. Today I am here with you all to share some information about preterm delivery because this month, November, is preterm awareness month. So what is this preterm delivery? The normal duration of pregnancy is 9 months plus 7 days or 280 days or 40 weeks. So if the woman delivers before 37 completed weeks of pregnancy, it is called preterm delivery. How common is this preterm delivery? India ranks number one among all the countries in the world in cases of preterm delivery. One out of every 10 deliveries in India is preterm delivery. So that's how common this problem is in India. So uh, what are the causes of this preterm delivery? There are various reasons for preterm delivery and the most common being previous history of preterm delivery. If a woman delivered the baby preterm in the previous pregnancy, then in the present pregnancy also she has a risk of delivering the baby preterm. And if the opening of the uterus, also called the cervix, is short on ultrasound examination, which is less than 2.5 centimeters, which is called short cervix, the woman can have preterm delivery. Then medical problems in pregnancy like uh, inadequate control of uh, blood pressure levels or sugar levels can lead to preterm. And uh, urinary tract infections or vaginal tract infections if left untreated can also lead to preterm. And uh, complication, complications in pregnancy like twins or triplets can also lead to preterm. And nutritional deficiencies like iron deficiency and anemia can also lead to preterm deliveries. And very uh, early age of pregnancy like less than 17 years or more than 35 years patients are also at risk of preterm delivery. What are the, what are the symptoms of this preterm delivery? So the common symptoms include uh, intermittent lower abdominal pain or low back ache or increased vaginal discharge or change in the nature of the vaginal discharge like excessive watery discharge or blood stain discharge can also be there in pregnancy. And a few patients may complain of uh, leaking per vagina which is nothing but the breakage of water. So what are the problems because of this preterm delivery? Of course, the mother is not definitely at risk due to preterm delivery, but the one who is at risk is the baby because the baby can have problems because of low birth weight as it is delivering early. And the baby needs admission in the neonatal ICU and uh, if the baby has respiratory difficulties, it needs oxygen supplementation either through mask or sometimes even ventilatory support may be needed. And uh, they are at a higher risk of neonatal jaundice and uh, the babies may have underdeveloped organs, other organs like the brain also. And there may be vision disturbances for these babies. These are the short term complications. And long term complications include uh, cerebral palsy which is a rare complication and sometimes behavioral problems and learning difficulties may also be there for these babies. So can we prevent or treat this preterm delivery? Definitely yes in most of the cases but not in every case. So adequate control of sugars or blood pressure levels, treating the infections early by early identification and screening also will prevent preterm delivery. And in case the patient has pain abdomen, we give some medication called tocolytics to suppress the uterine contractions and postpone the preterm delivery. And uh, treating the conditions which can lead to preterm delivery also will prevent preterm deliveries in future. And if the patient has got a short cervix on ultrasound examination like less than 2.5 centimeters, then putting a stitch around the cervix like uh, it's called cervical encirclage can hold the baby inside the uterus for a longer period and prevent preterm delivery. As an obstetrician, I pledge to prevent preterm deliveries by all means possible. Thank you.